This is a 2001 Pontiac Sunfire. One of the reasons it's here is to get the transmission fluid and filter changed. And to get the fluid level set on it. It has a four speed transmission in it, which is like a T45. It has a 2.2 liter motor in it. Okay, the car's been running for about six minutes, getting up the operating temperature. Oh. Gear shift for each gear for three seconds. Holding the brake down. Put it back in park. I've raised the vehicle up and set it on the jack stand about a foot and a half off the ground. This has a row of 516 bolts all around this boomerang shaped pan. And I've got a drain pan under it. I'm starting with the farthest corner, taking the bolts out progressively back this way so that the fluid will start running out as far away from me as possible. Start draining back at the back corner of the pans to take it loose. This pan doesn't have any drain plugs on it, but it does have some dents on it. and some weepy transmission lines as they're using transmission fluid out of them just slowly over the time this has a row you either use a 5 16 or an 8 millimeter socket to take all these bolts loose out of this boomerang shaped pan we use an air tool all pan and have some shock towels down here with you so the fluid will get on you no matter what you try by taking the floor this bolt out and progressing side to side as I come back to me the fluid will start running out at that end of the pan I've got the car raised up on the driver's side more than the passenger side so it's going to help it drain away from me once I've taken four out far this way from me I'm getting to this middle section and I'll just take them halfway loose. These two in the middle. So when this pan, if it drops all of a sudden, you can kind of see it's starting to drip. I don't want the pan just dropping all at once. That's sort of go flying across the floor. So I'll leave the middle bolts half in and start working on the ones back this way behind it. The middle, just slowly taking them loose and just kind of help the pan down a little bit as it goes. Okay, it's starting to drain. Like I say, you really need a really big drain pan. If you want to catch it, and not get it all over the place. And I gotta watch using air tools. The air will blow the transmission fluid everywhere. Now these back ones are cracking loose. I'll let the pan start tilting down out there on the end.
This stuff is black. Okay, I'll just let that progressively drain off and start taking them loose and let the pan tilt down farther and farther into this green pan. As I say, it's probably 18, 20 inches in diameter. That was a nice controlled transition from the transmission down to the drain pan. Now with the last two bolts loose, I'll hold the pan back up flat and take those remaining two bolts out. And this is what you'll be looking at with the pan removed. This is from the front. Big long filter laying in there. Now right here is where that nipple is, where the fluid's picked up into the pump. Uh, there's a bunch of fluid waiting in there. And I need to take the filter loose. So focus the majority of the drain pan under it. Take a screwdriver and pry down this filter while holding it up. Keep your arm out of the way of this area so that when the fluid comes out it won't get all over you. With any luck, this will go well. That one's so bad, I guess. Get a new seal with this, and typically change it. Take something, dent it, make the sleeve a little smaller. Just don't screw up the face of, of the aluminum too much. damage the housing. Get on that pair of pliers and pull it out of there. Or just keep clasping it, working your screwdriver around it. Like that. Take some brake cleaner and flush this housing out. I need a black residue on the housing that you see. Blow it all out of there with some brake cleaner. Kind of see it. Then take a, I don't know, a big fat socket at the side of that seal and drive it back up in there. Make sure it starts square. Square it up a little bit. You really don't want to hit on one particular place, you'll roll it, roll the middle. Okay. 
Let me I hear the chain. You're there. So let's verify it's flat all the way around. Looks good. Let me go ahead and wash all this off. Clean this seat off with this new seal. Dry it up some. I'll probably let it drain for a while. Take all your bolts and clean them off with brake cleaner. Get any dirt and particles off of them and any transmission fluid off of them. This is the transmission pan. It has a factory seal on it and we'll reuse that one if it's not damaged. Just got a dent on the pan. Take a hammer and lay it on a flat surface and flatten it back out. This magnet, there's a, a square impressed up on the pan right here and a magnet sits in it. It's usually usually removable, not always. Like a refrigerator magnet. But if it's glued down or something, I would leave it. Yeah, it moves. I want to get this stuff off of it. This is pretty substantial. It's been a while. I want to break clean that and degrease all that off too. And wash this pan out and dry this seawall. Get all that black out of the pan. Once you get your pan degreased and check for flatness around all the holes, make sure they're not pushed up. Just take a lay on a flat surf support this ridge with a flat surface and take a hammer and tap these holes down if if they're protruding up. This needs to be as flat as possible all the way around. And just gently clean it off. Clean the outside helps carry some of the heat off the transmission fluid. And once that's done, here's these raised up impressions for the magnet delay. Make sure you clean the crud off of it. Because the filter will go down through here. Or beside of it. Be sure the magnet lays here so it doesn't interfere with the filter. As you can see, the filter has a square cut out to accommodate a little bit of raised up magnet. That's where the fluid's drawn in and filtered, exits this and enters the pump housing. Okay, all there is need to do is Lay the gasket on here and clean the transmission surface off from any excess transmission fluid. Stick the bolts in some brake cleaner inside of this brake cleaner cap and get the oil off of them. Once you got your housing, all the black stuff sprayed out of it and the face cleaned off. Sprayed out the bolt holes too and wiped it down with a lint free rag. You don't want any material other than transmission fluid getting in here. Nothing. No lint, no sand, no dirt, no rocks. Should be perfectly clean other than some residual transmission fluid. I'm going to take some new transmission fluid and line this seal with it. Put 
some on your filter in too if you want. Make sure there's no debris on your filter and just put your filter up in there. When it's level, you're there. When the filter's level across not flush with this but just just level in general it's actually has a little gap under it I just need, need to install the pan and start putting the bolts in it the factory gasket has little dowel pins in both in the pan and for the transmission housing at each corner I'm gonna stick the pan up there and start putting the bolts in it while it's dry I'll start off by put one almost down in this corner I went back there almost all the way down but still loose just to hold the gasket in place and those dowel pins in place and then I'll put all the rest of both in loose first by starting them by hand so you don't cross thread them and tear up the aluminum thread tighten all these bolts in a crisscross pattern I usually end it with this little corner bin last but tighten them in a crisscross pattern to 120 inch pounds. I'll run them all down to just finger tight. Get them all about 60 inch pounds and then finish up with 120 inch pounds. How do you get your pan tightened down? Move over to the passenger side of the transaxle or the Passenger side drive axle comes out, which is that, and the exhaust is running through here. Drain plug for the oil pan, corner of the transmission pan. I'll take an 11 millimeter wrench and loosen this plug until it's finger loose, but still attached pretty good. That's going to be the fill level when the transmission fluid is a little above 100 degrees. We'll go back up top. I'm going to dump six quarts of fluid into the fill cap up on top to start with. The level shouldn't exceed seven quarts, so we'll be targeting between six and seven quarts of fluid on it. If you've got the car raised up in the front, raise the back up, make sure the car is level. I'm taking this red cap off on top of the transmission. That's the fill hole to put fluid in. Let's stick a funnel on that and pour six quarts of Dexron 3 transmission fluid. This can have the Dexron 6 put in it. The Mercon 6 is the upgraded version of the original fluid for this. If it didn't have so many miles on it, it probably would. But this transmission was designed for three. You can put six in it if you want. Fluid's been added. I've set a drain pan underneath of the fill level plug. I'm going to start it up. Let it idle for five minutes. And pull it through each gear for three seconds. And then come out and take this plug loose. To check the fluid level. Okay, the car's been running for about six minutes, getting up the operating temperature. 
pull a gear shift for each gear for three seconds. Holding the brake down. Put it back in park. Go ahead and take the fuel plug out of it. The rest of the way, got a drain pan under it. And I'm any fluid dripping out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and add half quart to that six quart and see if any fluid runs out of it. I don't have anything coming out of it a half quart, six and a half quart. I want to put two thirds of another half quart in it. Make it just below seven quarts. So I'll put another two thirds of a quart in. I should have about six and three quarters of a quart in it. I'm going to go pull, through, pull the gears through their position for and wait three seconds on each gear again and then check it. The drain plug is still out of it. Okay, the car's been running for about ten minutes, so the transmission fluid still not fully heated up. It's having full force in it. It's still not running out. I'm gonna let it let the transmission pan get a little warmer. About 104 is the target. Let's see if any comes out. If it don't, I'll add some more fluid to it after the After it gets up to 104 degrees, I'll add some more fluid to it. Until it starts running out, pull the shifter through all the gears for wait three seconds in each gear again. Okay, I've put seven and three quarters of a quart in it. Total. Stop dripping. It'll be where we want to be. the gears again, see if that slows up. Seal it around the threads on this plug before you put it back in. Gotta watch, that'll burn you. Uh, I'd say probably about seven and a half quarts when you're getting one of these. Although it calls for 6.9 total, this one's taking about seven and a half. When you're done, check for any leaks around your pan or the plug. Put your fuel cap back on. Make sure it's clean, there's dirt on it. At least not on the threads. 
be advised this everything's hot down in there now unless you let it sit and cool off. That runs the risk of dirt getting down in this hole. Good enough. 